Cousins over the middle has a first down to Darnell Mooney. Kirk Cousins, who's led the NFL in passing since becoming a starter about a decade ago. Here's Tyler Algier. His first carry of the season is good for a first down inside the 25. Gets his legs under him coming back from that Achilles injury. Good looking first drive going for the Falcons in rhythm. He's got Drake London. Nobody happier than Drake London to have Kirk Cousins pulling the trigger now. He's the motion man on first down and goal. Back to the ground. It's Robinson who gets blown up by T.J. Watt. As good as anybody in the game. I learn in L.A. And what do I want to see out of this offense? 12 play of the drive. It's a screen. It's Robinson who gets pulled down from behind by Peyton Wilson. The rookie's first career tackle. Coming off a 32 of 37 season. And he begins this year. One for one. Falcon showing pressure on third and seven. They'll bring just four. Back and off. Field steps up. This is where he's at his best. He runs for a first down to the 45. That mean that man, man. Green 18, yes, Second and six. It's another problem with the snap there. He's able to corral it, heave it outside for a first down run from Najee Harris, who got bumped out of bounds by A.J. Terrell. Multiple times a game all season. Handed off on third and six here to Cordero Patterson, and it looks like they're going to go two plays to try and get this six yards. Boswell drills it straight away and keeps on doing it. Try to attack downfield with the passing game. Back-to-back -back passes on this drive. Cousins scans over the middle and picked off. It is Deshaun Elliott in his Pittsburgh debut coming up with the interception. How aggressive they are in traditional drop back passing. Third and 12. Falcons again drop eight into coverage. Field steps up, lets it go, and it's Pickens right by the marker. Let's see where they spot him. Najee Harris back in there running back. He takes the fake with an end around. Here comes Pickens. That thing is covered well. There's nowhere to go. He's surrounded and dropped back at the 40-yard line. Welcome back, Grady Jarrett. And pick up that same game they got on the ground, but give him an opportunity to put the ball in the air. Boswell hit from 57 earlier. He hits from 51 here, and the Steelers take the lead. Cousins well protected. He throws it high and incomplete. Wanted Mooney. Jackson was coming over in coverage. Fourth and ten. I think Arthur Smith has to continue to sprinkle in, but on earlier downs. Yeah, third and nine here. First downfield shot. It is Pickens. As good as anybody in the NFL at doing just that. A strike downfield for 36 yards. There is a flag. And judging by the reaction of the crowd, is it on Pickens? Yeah, I think they're going to call offensive pass interference on Pickens. That little push, go now, and that was a great ball. But obviously it gets called back for offensive pass interference. You just don't. Third down, 19 after the penalty. It's a 46-yard loss from that penalty. And Warren will get just a few. He stopped by Matthew Judon. And just 6 of 11 with an interception so far. Begins this drive with a quick throw to Ray Ray McLeod. Works against Dante Jackson. Turns the corner for a solid first down game play. So first down and 10 of the 22. Now the first down throw. Cousins hit as he throws. Up for grabs and it is by Ray Ray McLeod. Out of Kirk Cousins and try to steal at least three here before the half. Under a minute. Cousins, first read was taken away, dumped it off. Robinson's got a lot of room. But John Robinson, first down, chugging forward for 15. He's taken a few hits and a couple big ones. And that one down there around that Achilles from Keanu Payton. Again, he's pressured, lets it go, and he has a wide open Ray Ray McLeod. And if you had Ray Ray McLeod as the lead. <laughs> first down from the 16. Flags down. Cousins down. Ball is on the ground. And T.J. Watts got it, but this is probably going to get overturned by the penalty. Yeah, I, I want to take a look at it because sometimes offside. the timing of it is He's so good 90. that he looks yeah, offside. But Wow, so you see what they're doing is they're timing it with the center's head bob. That center in these spread formations in gun... He's going to put his head between his legs and then look back up and then one count snap and these defenders get a beat on it. Falcons looking for the end zone. 
Cousins, first read taken away, left side, he throws, wide open, hits, touchdown Atlanta! Looked like broken coverage, and then Pitts cashes in. Field sets up, lets it fly. Pickens down there in field goal range has a first down and then some and gets out of bounds with one second. Mike Tomlin's got to be like, wow, oh, no, what are you still doing? out of bounds? A chip shot compared to what he's done so far today. It's perfect. And so is he in this first half. Three field goals. They're down at a less than five first drive of this half for the Steelers. It's Grady Jarrett getting Justin Fields. His second impact play in his first game back from the knee injury. That's got to feel good for a guy coming back from a big injury last year. A three and out to begin this second half. A booming punt right there. Avery Williams from the 20. And Williams, a good return. Across midfield. And it was the touchdown to Pitts. Third and two. Robinson a third time. Not going to get there. Robinson on the end around. First down. Bajan Robinson. Using him in different ways here. Bringing him in motion. And running back this time. And a miscommunication there in the timing deflected off of the motion man and T.J. Watts on top of it. Self-inflicted wound right there for the Falcons. No flags on this play. Steelers ball and on first down fields has a wide open man. It's Michael Pruitt. All right, Carissa hurrying up here for this third down play. Blitz is picked up and throw is incomplete. He wanted Austin and Justin Simmons. One of the big pickups over the last month flew in there to break it up. Simmons is a veteran who's played at a Pro Bowl level for a long time. Boswell again, long range from 56. It is his third make of the day from 50 plus. Living up to his reputation as the most accurate kicker. Terrible towels waving in Atlanta. Here's where it gets really miserable playing against this defense and those rushers. Third and long. They're coming. They get to Cousins. It's Watt wreaking havoc again. McGarry's able to fall on it. There's a flag down in the secondary. This may go on Pittsburgh. For a second. Illegal use of hands to the face. Defense number 26. Wow. The five-yard penalty from the previous spot. The automatic first down. Automatic first down. There have been more penalties on the Steelers today. Cousins pressed it again, and he had no chance this time. Hayward was there with Montrevious Adams. And Cousins got Barry. And a tight game between the Steelers and the Falcons. Steelers have it. Justin Fields back to work. They look to throw on first down. Taking a shot. He wants Pickens. He's got him. Pickens back to his feet. Inside the 20. Biggest play of the day for the Steelers. Fields hits Pickens for 51. Fields given time. Running out of it, zips it underneath. Friermuth, not going to get there. Justin Simmons wouldn't let go. There are some positives to take, even though, as you heard Pam say at the half, Mike Tomlin said, we got to score touchdowns. Boswell stays locked in. He's 5-5, five for five, and the lead is 15-10. to 10. Third down 15. Cousins has not hit a real shot downfield yeah, they, all day. they got to chip him. One on one. McGarry does a good job this time, but the coverage is tied and the pass is incomplete. Minka Fitzpatrick and DeMonte Casey. As far as executing the vision of Arthur, Arthur Smith. Harris. Patient running. Opens things up. And Najee Harris rumbles his way near midfield. Best run of the day for the former Crimson Tide star. On second down. Takes the fake. Fields turns the shoulders and puts it right on a dime, right between the eight and the eight for Fryer move. First down, Pittsburgh. There's no question. Second and six into the bootleg. Another throw to the flats in Darnell Washington. Bumped out close to a first down. Bubble it outside. Here comes Van Jefferson. And what a play right there by Jesse Bates. A big time play.
play by Jesse Bates, the safety, their leading tackler a year ago. They tried oh, to sneak it, it, and he does not get there. He just fell down. Falcons went over the top and basically just pancaked on top of him. And I don't think he got it. From his own end zone, it's tipped at the line by Highsmith and incomplete. Cousins from the end zone, over the middle, has Pitts, who stops short. And let Justin Fields throw the ball downfield. Typically, that's been to Pickens. Let's see here. He's in trouble. He is sacked. That defense comes up with a big play. It's the new guy, Judon. It's the old staple, Jared, combining. They got off the field, and now it's up to Kirk Cousins in this Atlanta offense to try to go down and play hero. Cameron Johnston. Just got that thing off and a flag down. We've got a penalty either roughing or running into the kicker, and it'll make all the difference here. So I'm looking at this, and they can get together and talk about was the player blocked into the contact? Holding, kicking team number 28. The 10 yard penalty, re kick. Doing something he's never done right here, though. It's a line drive. Avery Williams from the 40. That's Can't really get away. Excellent special teams coverage from Scotty Miller. You take your new team on a game-winning drive at home. You're the hero either way. Toss to Robinson. And Bajon Robinson. 13 yards on the first play of the drive. He almost broke that thing loose. Nice first down call when everyone in the building's thinking it's a pass. From the Steeler 47. Cousins from a collapsing pocket, throws an interception, Dante Jackson in his Steelers debut inside the 20. He dropped an interception in the first half. If given the choice, he'd say, I'd probably take this one. And the fourth quarter returns at 48 yards. Yeah, it's a combination. They got to force fourth down here, field goal, and try to keep this thing under eight points. Running back is the tight end, Hayward. Fields to run it. Justin Fields has a first down, sneaks his way through. We welcome those of you joining us after watching the Vikings beat the Giants. Chris Boswell looking for his sixth make of the day, and he's got it. And that's been everything for the Steelers. Six made field goals, three takeaways. Look, everyone here is outside flanking the offensive formation. Cousins will throw short. Ray Ray McLeod got to get out of bounds, but he doesn't. Beanie Bishop, the undrafted rookie here in his NFL debut, is going to drain about half of what they had. Cousins will have to clock it. Get tackled inbounds, the game's over. Only 60 yards of offense for the Falcons since halftime. And Cousins is set. Guess who? T.J. Watt putting an exclamation on this one. Well, the way the second half went, that feels like a very fitting end of how this game is going to conclude. They had no answer for the Pittsburgh pass rush. J.J. Watt was a T.J. Watt was a force the entire game. Had two strip sack fumbles negated for penalties.